Hey, hello folks, it's Foxlow back again after a quite a long time away from uh, YouTube. <coughs> it's just I've been playing other games that I haven't felt like recording. And I'm returning to No Man's Sky. And this series I'm going to do now is um, a sort of let's play, but it's going to be every single minute that I'm playing. So some of it's going to be a bit boring because I'm going to show everything that I do. Everything including messing around with my inventory and shit like that. Um, I know that's going to be boring, but I want to actually show a game like this being played totally. Not off camera. Every single minute that I can play in the game, I will do on camera. Nothing is going to be off camera. Everything that I do in this series is going to be on camera. And that is farming. How boring that could be just to watch, but this is what it's going to be. So, take it or leave it guys. You can watch it or fast forward or not watch it at all. Because yeah, I, lately I'm not getting a lot of views. So, like I've said in the past, if I get one view and one like, I'm happy. If I get none, I'm not really sad because I actually enjoy the pro, uh, the pro, 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 progress I was going to say. But I actually enjoy recording and sending it up to YouTube, no matter what I get. Anyway, it's going to be a new game. I have played a little bit, as you can see. For the last 20 hours, I've got a save which I'm not going to get rid of because it's quite a good save. But I haven't recorded any of that. So, let's get in. Um, so I'm not too long with this so-called intro. But this is how the game is going to be for um, this particular series. I'm returning to No Man's Sky, as I said, showing every single minute of gameplay. So, let's jump in. It's going to be a normal mode. And see what we get. And let's hope that some of you actually watch the video all the way through. That would be nice. Or in bits, you know, you could fast forward for the next five minutes or whatever. That's also cool. But as long as you reach the end, okay guys? You've got to reach the end of my videos by viewing it all. Even fast forwarding it all. That's fine. You know, you click 10%, 20%, 30%, and then 90%, <laughs> and then 100%. As long as you click the whole video through, that'll be happy. Anyway, I have actually enjoyed getting back in in the last 20 hours. Um, and it's quite a good save I've got up there, but I'm not going to go into that. Right, let's start, see where we go. Now if I'm not happy with the planet, I will start again. What I want is a cave. If any of you have not played before, when you first go in, I should really shut up now, should I? So you let you listen to what's going on. So I'll tell you in a minute. Looks hopeful. Look at that, look. Is that a cave? I hope it's a cave. That would be handy. Oh, I'm bet oh yeah, look at that. Stuff all ready to sell. Those little boxes on the ground in front of us. And we're in. Complete! Thank you, Betty. Got to call her Betty. Oh, come on then, go on. No, I can't hold that. Okay. Right, first things first. For you newbies that never played before, there must be some. When you first go in, what you need to look for is number one, a cave. Now, I'm hoping that's a cave. Oh, oh no, it's not a cave. Damn, damn, damn. But also... Oh, shit, I've been poisoned. The other thing to look for is that yellow plant there. In some starts, you won't find that. You have to really go a long way, but we're lucky. We've got one piece, so that will get our toxicity up. So we just press what your key bounds are for. Where are we? That one. Oh, get on there. That one. Okay, that's recharged to half. It's not a lot, but we now need to find a cave now. Let's have a look, see which possible direction there could be one. So over the hill. Maybe there'll be a cave. There's not one here, is there? Oh yeah, there is. That's handy. There you go, guys. That was lucky, finding a cave. So this is what you need to do when you first come in. Um, so we can get that toxicity bar to go up. Right, now that should now go up to full. That green line on our left there. And we need some... 
ferrite dust and also initially we need carbon to be able to uh, continually fire. Now you need to, when you find a cave, try and get as much stuff as you can from the cave. But it looks like this cave doesn't actually have a lot of stuff that I can farm. But anyway, let's see if, go back out the entrance, see if we can get some carbon first. Get the carbon first, so you, you can use your gun. Because if you run out of carbon in the cave and the cave doesn't have carbon, you shit out, excuse my French. So there's loads of carbon here, hopefully. There we go. Now another tip, the gun, when the gun reaches, as you can see that white bar on the bar, when it reaches red, it actually farms quicker. So what you need to do, try and keep it in that red zone, or the yellow zone, because it will farm quicker. So you've got to keep your eye on that, and then just come off the gun, let it drop down, and then pick it up again, as quick as possible. There we go. Keep it in that red-yellow area, so you get a, a, a lot quicker farm. Now let's fill ourselves up with carbon. I'm watching our toxicity as well. Got to watch your toxicity so you don't lose your life. So we're getting a load of power. Nice planet though. I like these lightly coloured planets. It's toxic, yes. But um, there you go. You can negate that after a while. It doesn't become too much of a problem. Let's load of carbon. How many? Got, how much we got now? At least a thousand. I want at least. Oh, go on the thing. I'm looking at the red line and not my gun, <laughs> so I don't go under. So it doesn't overheat. Now it would be nice to have that red line actually on the the laser point, if you see what I mean. But um, there you go. It's not. So you know, deal with it. <laughs> right. How much we got? Um, let's have a look. Oh, we've got a thousand already. That's cool. It's nice to have that. And also, we need a lot of this eventually. Let's grab some while we can. Um, some ferrite dust. Oh, see, weapon charge defeated already. That's why I wanted a lot of carbon. We need a lot of ferrite dust as well. We need ferrite dust to repair the analyzer so let's grab as much as we can and then we can analyze what we're shooting at isn't that cool I do like I still like I haven't played that like I, I've been away from No Man's Sky for at least six months so I do miss the, the scenic some scenes are good some scenes are obviously they're repetitive but it's still cool and I've got everything on ultra and I'm getting 75, well there's not much going on I'm getting 75 frames, so options where are we, graphics options, everything on ultra except for shadow quality I put just on high because that will, that does actually affect my frame rates slightly if I have that on ultra as well, but it's still cool so my frame rates are quite good for an old machine, my machine is now I think it's 9 years old I've got a 280, it's on my description anyway. I've got a 280, uh, a 280, 980 Ti, and a, um, oh Christ, what are my things? Um, 2600K, is it? I can't remember what my <laughs> CPU is, but it's old, guys, it's old, and it's coping well. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get farming, and I told you in the beginning, you're going to see every minute, every single minute of my gameplay on, on this series. I'm fast forwarding, I'm not pausing or anything like that so you'll see all my mistakes all my discoveries all my inventory items, boring but you can always fast forward ok even to the point well maybe not I think the only exception will be when I um, say get static to if I want an S class um, ship because I can spend up to three hours waiting for an S class ship to land I probably won't record <laughs> all that I will just record the moment that I start 
maybe uh, a few minutes into it and then actually record if I actually find one yeah because I think that would be a bit silly wouldn't it I just want you to watch it all okay <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled okay I should be able, I should be able to uh, fix that analyzer now let's have a look um, multi-tool scanner fixed it could so that's a scanner fix so we can now oh the analyzer I've got to install the analyzer that's right okay um, I've just been playing this like this I should remember it already so what do we need for that um, how about nano juice should be able to make that now let's see Yes, cool. Now we should be able to get that on. So let's put it there. Or does it really matter as much where you put this one? But then we can always move it around. That's it. Scanner done. Anything else I can put on there? No, I don't want all that. Cool. Let's put some stuff in there. Carbon. Load it up. Now our scanner should be working. There we go. Now we can make some money. A little bit. But also, because our toxicity is going down, let's see if we can find any sodium. There's some up there, look. Now, as long as we can find sodium, it's not so crucial to find a cave. Look, there's, oh, there's more over there, look. How far away is that? That's um, 98U. Well, 95. It's only three, three units closer, but it'll do. There's quite a few out, of course. It's lucky. You don't always get this, guys, on a new planet on your first start. Um, sometimes you can go for ages and not see any um, sodium. Sodium, at the moment, on your on your start or a cave, is your lifesaver. So let's just get our lives full up. That's it. Cool. Let's grab some more. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, look. look. Ships. What will our first ship look like? Well, we know what it will look like. It's the same every time. But it's a design that I actually like a lot. Oh, 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 birds, birds, birds. Get the birds. Get some money. And also some life. There we go. G. Jabilidum. How do you pronounce after that? That gives a thousand units. Not too bad. Once we upgrade the scanner, you can get quite a lot of money from scanning. But that's later on down the road. And I'll show you the correct way of getting the um, mission guys eventually. It's quite a long way off yet to get the building guy and all the rest of it. You have to go through another mission first before you get all that without having to pay for it all. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that. It's quite a way in the future. If anybody keeps watching. Are you watching? Keep your eyes. Don't, don't look at the telly, okay, guys? Look at me. Mr. Fox here. <laughs> right, let's make some more money. Yeah, it's not a lot, but it's um, something. So I tend to actually stay in the first system for quite a long time. Normally, or I have done in the past. So I don't think that's going to change much. And I like this music. I really like this music and it's too low. Um, let's turn it up a bit. Um, where are we? General options. Let's put it on 40. Uh, 45. Doing it too loud because I, it, sometimes it will um, be louder than, well might be good for you lot, that louder than my voice. But well, I like this music, right. Right, see, because I've upgraded the scanner, can you see that icon on that pointer? If you're new again, that little ship icon there on my right, that's where your new V ship is, and it's never that far away. See, it's only 400 units away. 
Um, I'm not going straight to it right now because I want some more stuff first. But we can get stuff on the way. See, I never rush to the ship. I really don't. Especially when I'm listening to the music. <laughs> So I generally do not rush things. If people that watch me in the past, you know I don't rush everywhere. So if you're new watching this, you have to bear with me. See that music is loud now. <laughs> As I was saying, if you're new and watching me, I take my time with everything. Yeah, I better turn that down. That is now too loud. Let's put it five above. Thirty-five, okay. Because yeah, when the music is actually low, that's why I don't like it. But as it crescendos, it gets a bit too high. Oh, and lies. It is bits and pieces, but it's all money, guys, at the beginning. It does help. So try and get as much as you can once you fix your analyzer. And then once it's done, it's done on that particular planet. And as I said later on, when we upgrade it, it's quite a worthwhile thing to do. Because it gives you a lot of dosh. Without working too hard. You see, that's 15 minutes into the video and I haven't even got to the ship yet. You see what I mean? I could have got there 10 minutes ago. But that's not the way I play, guys, okay? So, suck it, okay? <laughs> ah. There's some more sodium, so let's grab that. Right now what I need to do is find a cave, well I'll maybe do that after we get to the ship. Oh wait a minute, is that one there? Let's have a look. I need to get some cobalt. So I need a cave for that. Is that a cave? I don't think, can we farm that? No, we can farm the little ones. We need some condensed carbon as well. But until we get the um, advanced, well, the advanced mining laser, we can't farm the big ones. We just farm the little bits and pieces. But that would all come in time, or oh, there's another one. More sodium. Your lifeblood. There you go. Right, let's head towards the ship. Well, we're going to have a look at that cave first. Where, where, where was it? Around here somewhere. Lost it. Oh. Is that leading into a cave? I don't think so. It's just a hole in the ground. Yeah, just a hole in the ground. Right, let's go towards the ship. See if we can find a cave en route. And these plants here we'll boost our jetpack for a little while if we pick it up as we move by let's have a look what these have got condensed carbon, condensed carbon, coal, sodium and hydrogen jelly right let's grab you and it will extend our jetpack use oh okay, cave is it? is it a cave? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Floating plant that I can't fire at. Oh, that's so cool. Not meant to be there, I don't think. There's no... There's no... Um, oh, this is weird. There's no cobalt at all down here. Oh, apart from that bit, I think. Only in caves, you find loads of it, not just one. Oh, I can't get through there. It's a pity you can't crouch. Oh, can I get through there? No, you, it's a pity they should have been in the game so you can crouch. I can sit down. Wait if I get it on the uh, thing. Hmm, I've got to do that yet. Oh, this. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't pick these up, did I? The video where we started. Right there. They'll give us some money as well. And we sell them. I think if I remember rightly, you can... You do need some of these for... Um, some building things I think I can't remember now 
been a long time since I played so there's going to be things I've forgotten let's grab some cobalt that we can god there's normally loads of it down in caves we might be lucky and find a uh, decent cave oh silver look on a decent cave somewhere let's just scan see what comes up Ships over there, nothing there. Hmm, not a very big cave, is it? Can we go over there? That's where we came in, isn't it? Yeah, oh no, this is... Look at the size of that. Oh, you can't farm it. Look, can't farm it down here. What's that? Okay, let's do something a bit different here. Let's to be able to change from first person to third person, you need to go there. What I've just done, and press control, whatever number you want to put it on your hot bar key. So if I press number one, I'll go to first person. That's it, first person. And the other option is again go to menu go across to settings and where are we oh I went to the wrong one um, oh yeah to um, that oh come on that one and now to say hello wave <laughs> um, and click on it that's those waves but then control and for me it's number two so number two so number three I want to sit down so where are we and I'll tell you why I want to sit down um, sit down oh there we go sit down control three that's it so I have got wave on number one no come on you stupid boy wave on number one two <laughs> and sit down on number three now the reason I have sit down because I don't play multiplayer so I can't role play in that sense but I use that for when I'm fighting horrors because I'm fighting horrors and I'm jumping up on top of the building if you sit down they can't hit you so that's why I have to sit down anyway that's for later now why can't I farm that other one from down the bottom there it's a bit weird um, what's that 21 minutes in they will still be able to get to the shipping time before this session is over. I'll get the session over when I get to the ship. And then carry on with the next one from there. Why can't I have a go? Oh, and analyse it first. Won't analyse, look. That's weird. No one will. That one, that is, uh, oh, it's part of the thing there. Oh, that's kind of analysing there, look. A bit weird, or is that the one behind it? <laughs> God knows. Must be, yeah, the one behind it. They're not... Oh, well, they are farmable. It's a bit weird. There that be? Fungal mould. Is it secondary... Item, there we go. Um, go away. Go away again. <laughs> uh, there we go. And also... Oh, we need some oxygen. Hmm. Right, shippy, shippy, where? That's shippy. Okay, how far away? Looks like still 288. Oh yeah, easy. Right, let's get over there. Let's get to the ship now. I don't really have as much as I'd need, like, because I need some coal. Oh. Anything more? Oh yeah. No. No. Ah, come on. Oh. 
See, well, we've got 8,000 units already. That's just from um, fighting about like I've been fighting about. It's not a lot in um, no man's time. Sky's turns, but... Hmm, should we? Should we drop that? No, let's go to the ship. <laughs> You'll see that I will get distracted at times. And I'll shy away of doing, doing what I was going to do to something different. Um, uh, no, there, there we go. Yeah, I've been off camera in the sense I've not been doing much YouTube work since playing, um, Far Cry Dawn. I've been playing, where are we? Darksiders 2 really playing it, really got into it, so I was playing, I've been playing that roughly for three months I think. I've done a new save on every save option of the game, replaying it all, because I really like that game. But anyway, like I said, I've returned to NMS, okay? <laughs> so I'm recording it. Right, we're at the ship guys, look at that. Oh, here's some oxygen, we need oxygen. Isn't it cool? I still, d I still find the the actual environment nice to look at yeah it's you know cool that's all I'm going to say on it it's cool in some instances it's really cool oh and um, yeah I discovered because I haven't actually looked at how um, updated the No Man's Sky is while playing my comeback which I haven't recorded I come across a really beautiful thing in space Really, really beautiful. The child of Helios. Yeah, I know it's spoiler. Yeah, I, it's I don't say spoiler because it's, you know, I'm showing the game. I don't give a shit about spoiling. Um, but yeah, um, really nice. I just came across it by accident. And I understand, don't know how you get it, but you actually um, get sent to it by uh, a mission, I think. How that mission gets um, started, I've no idea. If I did, I would say so, because I don't care about spoilers. Why there? Because it's a spoiler anyway. If you're watching it all anyhow. <laughs> right, go. Give me what you got. What you got? I dehydrogen. Okay. There she is. I do like. I really like that design. Um, and I'm hoping I can find a. Um, higher class available in the same design like I have on my other save because I managed on my other save uh, oh it's still showing me there um, yeah to get an A class version of it right Tenere iteration number long number deleted boundary separation failure likely yeah I'm going to read most of the things out as well guys vessel empty core sentient inter intervention deliberate transfer uh, iteration long number hmm. analysis fresh iteration generated anomaly containment prepared broadcast broadcast received traveler anomaly detected anomaly is compliant position logged system integrity scan initialized hmm investigate the crash ship how strange are we in 27 minutes ok got time yet you see you're all hoping, uh, if you haven't seen, you want me to go there straight away, don't you? You really do, don't you? Look, he, he's, he's trying, but no, he's found something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so much the right dust. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm being facetious here. Come on, pick it up. 100, that's it. 100, come off. There we go. Oh! Animal! Animal! One thousand units. I think I've already done that, haven't I? No. Have I? Yeah, I've done it. I thought I'd done that. It's not doing it. Come on, go. Not the sodium. Ah. I want to highlight that blue plant and it won't, blue, it won't do it. It won't let me do it for some reason. Right guys, shall we? Nothing else to look at? Can't farm that yet. 
Can I find that one? Yeah. Just not the big one. Okay, let's finish it. <laughs> Iteration, long number, really long number, online. Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of her before. But this ship at last seems to recognise me. The controlled react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Read log. Starship Water Diagnostic, log 4925A, unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit, connected, suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance, select desired repair path, repair ship systems, self-guided repair protocols, initiated. Pulse engine critically damaged, it needs hermetic seals and metal plating, one of each. Now metal plating is doable, hermetic Etic seal is not. You'll find out how that's done in a second. Okay. Go on. Here we go. Repair pulse engine. Continue. So to repair the pulse engine we need to make metal plating. And go to Starship. Go to pulse engine. Hit the metal plating. And it's repaired. And we don't have an hermetic seal. Now the first thing you do with your ship that you get, delete the rocket launcher. The majority of players I understand and I never ever use the rocket launcher, they're absolutely useless. But it gives you 100 copper and some condensed carbon, which is the copper is what you really need uh, later on. So um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, back to the exosuit. I want the condensed copper in there. Oh, and another thing, on your start you get two um, slots in your cargo slots, which is handy. I always put the carbon in the cargo slots and the condensed carbon in the cargo slots. Where are we? Or should I this time? Yeah. Because <coughs> um, they can hold more. Um, so, let's go back to general, come back out. That's 31 minutes into the video. Starship repair partially complete. Board the Starship and consult ship diagnostics. The Radiant Pillar VC-1. Auto diagnostic again long number. Functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Repair pulse engine, hermetic seal. See, number two option. So we'll continue. And there you go, see that little highlight? There on the... There, just there on the... Whatever it is, there. This is your distress beacon. <laughs> we go to that and click on it and it will give us some a map. I peer inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress broadcast unit it contains a planetary chart. Take the planetary chart planetary chart open where are we? Planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory tab to view the data. Okay. There we go. There's the data here. See you just flip, press E on it well on the PC you do, you press E and that will show us where the hermetic seal is. There's the icon on the right. There we go and that's it. Normally it's about 800 units away. There we go, it's 883. Now here's um, another spoiler. As we're going towards it, the nearer we get to it, as we get to a certain distance from it, we'll encounter a storm. Every start works like that. Every new start works like that. And that storm is quite violent, so you have to get there quite quickly. But if you've got some means to um, refresh all your toxic stuff, then 
it's it's very well doable um, so that's as far as we get on this particular series guys we've got our ship um, let's get in it and I'll show you what else I do that's it we're in it and of course whilst you're inside the ship you're free of all toxicity but what I tend to do now also I want outside view so go to your menu go to your menu like that go to that option it shows the ship control one number one this is the, the, the menu that I use the hotkey now if I press number one it will go out into third person view if I press number one again it will go back to first person view and I, I use the controller to fly but I don't use the controller on the ground I always use my mouse and keyboard on the ground that's just the way I play so now let's get out again and when you jump out of the cockpit it automatically saves for you so it saves you at that point anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that little run through the first part um, my next part will be as from this particular moment to the next but uh, that was in part that will be in the part two of this particular return to NMS series so I hope you enjoyed that and we'll keep watching okay if you did enjoy it tick that little thumbs up for me and give me a like that would be much appreciated I only, I only need one of you to do it that have been watching if any of you have watched and that will make me very happy so thanks again guys and I'll catch you in the next one so cheerio for now